Maths and science stimulate the mind. They are beautiful subjects to study as they provoke deeper thinking. These days, many schools are joining forces to encourage learners to take up these subjects by means of technology, which makes learning and collaboration between schools easier. Initiatives like e-learning are there for this specific reason. Let's go here and say it's 30. 30? One. Point three one. Yes. Okay. So which villa are we going to subtract? The 15.7. The 15 point Mother of all professions visited schools in Ermelo that use e-learning to find out more about this 21st century technology. This method of learning uses a live feed ensuring that schools get the same quality of education in both mathematics and science. Lake Bron Academy of Technology in Mpumalanga initiated this method of learning with the aim to reach out to the disadvantaged schools. Uh, E-learning regarding our project is uh, a wireless video conferencing project that we use at our school to connect uh, rural and former disadvantaged schools. Whereby Amadena's afunda simultaneously, the fundiswa ngama educators atlugene from different schools. In Agule Colo as the analysis has seven the Sana Naye, Sawas Gumbona Camera, Cantinaba Fundi Futiba was Gutiba interrupt Tibambus in Mibus or Alice's cat. Electronic learning, uh, where one school transmits to other schools and teachers are benefiting from uh, one teacher's expertise from one school and other schools. So, what we're going to have in our experiment is we're going to use to determine the concentration of potassium at Ma performing schools or better performing schools. I was share my ideas with underperforming schools. I was in these underperforming schools and a few resources. I was a benefit out of these better performing schools. Well, the concept of e-learning is basically how to use technology in the classroom to deliver the curriculum and to make sure that uh, we built uh, classrooms or developed classrooms for the 21st century where uh, technology is built into all activities in the classroom. This technology helps schools to uplift the standard of teaching and learning. It develops teaching competence in schools. An interest in maths and science is generated, thus improving results. Our kids at, the, at, at this school are schools from a rural area. They're not growing up in homes where they have all the technology, but technology is the future, so it's much more important for us to have technology exposure to them. And they used to mix it and uh, they also used to TV and they used to the PC and uh, now they come to the class and listen to a boring half an hour session talking and talking. Yeah, the rest must check now, they must see if they agree with this learner. So we thought, well, it will be worthwhile to bring in the technology in the class, at least you get the attention. And that's exactly what's happening. The five underprivileged schools that benefit from this technology are within a 50 kilometer radius from Lake Bron Academy and they connect via video conferencing by means of digital cameras. Desktop sharing takes place between these schools by using smart boards and Bridget conferencing software, which also makes it possible for the learners to interact live with other teachers. 
We teach in Lichtbron and with an interactive whiteboard, they can see me, they can see the lesson. Whatever I do on my board, immediately it will reflect um, on their board. So they can ask me questions. They can stop me, ask me questions. If I don't really understand their question, they can even write it on their board. And then I can see it immediately on my board and we can uh, solve their problems. Yeah, firstly, any you know, observer, Bafundi, they were scared, in fact, to express themselves in English to this counterpart Ab. Mobile has banal inferiority complex. But as time goes on, because even Nama questions are Baba Buzawa, the Banga Kunu Pindu Labafun built, got the Bewaza answers. But as time goes on, but Ala Baba confidence, but develop confidence. So why was Manju Buzama questions, no answer Richard Ama questions, a Baba Buzawa, and Seguna do Uti Vele, they are on par with these other dinners above my ex model C schools. Learners have to take responsibility for their studies by making sure that they prepare for lessons and that motivates them. It allows them to experience learning in a different light. When I was doing grade 10, ne, Njoba Ved Inden Vele was not introduced. My maths exam, they were very low with physical science and then low with the good thing is on the very thing with physical science in Zima. Physical science is not meant for us. Improve the good physics, especially because last year, physics is very low and this year, it's an improvement. I'm not really cool because uh, my results are not this year. Our fan, my, my results are me. And last year, you know, improve really. More than 10 percent, truly. Uh, especially in maths, I'm able to learn more shortcuts. Than e learning, Gakulu, than e blackboard. Maths from the class in because Gakulu physical science, ne? O physical science, ke ga grade 11, sa sfunda, ne? Kata sfunda in blackboard, banga ga introduce ang lendole. Be sfunda, but then be sfunda stupid if it's ofiga is in the ma practicals, yabo. Yeah, and jo us bega shabo. Lendole ama electronics, lente sinza ama ye physics. Yeah, it's not born a lot like uh, the simulations. So I'm going to visit. We see security seven thousand and one. I'm going to This technology is fantastic. It allows me to interact with many other schools. I can understand the problems that we have as well as them, and it helps us to know that we're actually on track and we're not falling back in any way, and that we're actually doing quite well. Lickburn Academy provides resources to the teachers of participating schools to enable them to further research topics that they cover throughout the year, thus enabling them to deliver their lessons with confidence. E-learning helps to reduce paperwork and improve facilitation of teaching. I'm gaining the knowledge from this e-learning teacher, you understand? Because sometimes when we're talking with maths, it's something else. We have to have a strategy, we have to have a, the method of how to deliver it from, from the learners, you know? But it is a gain of self-confidence to start with. Gandana self confidence, but do I enjoy your lessons? No, Zifunza, Vana guarantee your as Zavavavot, Zifunza Nakazmos called. The content gap on the part of teachers, Yo Egakulbas and Chablisa and Oba, Bawas Manjuti, those gaps are valegile as we speak. We all don't know everything, and that, like I said, the approach. Because the teacher is also present there, and he's actually facilitating the whole learning procedure. So he's also learning 
uh, maybe a different view or a different approach to a particular topic. I get extra examples, different ones which I don't have to give my children. So this is extra practicing work for them and this, this really helps the children. Ek myself, I come after as kinders wat rarig sikkel. So ek dink, mens leer om te kyk nie net na kinders in ons skole doen die kinders rechtig goed. Ons is gelukkig om geen druipelinge te heen wiskunde vir paar jaar nou al nie. Maar as skole wat nie so gelukkig is nie. So jy kom achter, as kinders wat rarig sikkel, wat jy moet terug gaan tot die basics, back to basics, wat alle werk aan betref. Lichtbrun Academy of Technology decided to adopt a learning environment that is different from the majority of schools in South Africa. By using available technology, learners and teachers worked smarter, not harder. In 2005, the idea of e-learning was put into place and since its inception, results have improved greatly. The e-learning project at Lichtbron started about in 2005. Uh, Lichtbron Academy bought two smart interactive whiteboards and we connected to the technology classrooms in our school. And I was fortunate that it was one of my classrooms. So we actually start playing with this technology and what we saw immediately is that it changed the whole classroom setup. One day I stepped into his classroom and uh, we had re just received our first interactive whiteboard and Franz was on this board busy with a friend in England interactively uh, drawing pictures, talking to each other and that was via internet. We started to, within the school, to transmit uh, lessons when there's a teacher absent, you know, we, Franz will set up the, the, the technology and then we started and from there we expanded to our project schools. Yeah. We as a department get involved because of the visionary leadership of uh, the then Director General, Deputy Director General for Education, uh, Dr. Ngumani. Um, she saw the potential of this project, the huge potential of this project and uh, that's how the, the sub-director at Project Coordination get involved in um, coordinating the implementation, the monitoring, and the evaluation of the project. Pressure plays a huge part in the challenges that are experienced. This method of teaching is high maintenance. The equipment is expensive and has to be kept up to standard. Extra money has to be available for insurance in case of theft or equipment breaking down. All die school is niet op jezelf vlak niet. Zo so nou sukkel je een school met een specifieke som en die andere klasse sukkel niet met die som niet. En nou moet je stilstaan bij die som en dit weer een keer verduidelijk. We don't have enough uh, feet on the ground in our project. We don't have enough people to can help us. And if something happens, we need someone to, to do it immediately because the teacher must go on. So that is our main concern at the moment is uh, we need more staff on, on our e-learning project uh, team. We have to pay e insurance to safeguard Dilama facilities because they are very expensive. And e lightning, which is weather, we cannot do away in Ayo. In Ayo, we have to buy in But the most, which is a pain in my heart, is to align e timetable with the, the host school. You find that when they have mathematics, we have something else here. So aligning that, it coincides with, with, with our plans. The other challenge was to, let, to get the people to buy into the project. You know, people tend to say, why do you want to help me? Uh, is it because I haven't got the knowledge? No, we knew that the people's intelligence is only about opportunities. So uh, that was part of the challenge as well. Ilef Bron is our coordinator, but to notes each and every week if we e-learning. 
So a challenge is that now, photocopying machine, especially as Colwen, which will go to I seven, I now ink. Maybe in lesson is the figure lang ala kona abantu na bawa chola ngamanos, especially today. For zanga bawa chola manos because it's always a problem. Yeah, photocopying machine. Before we start, it was for computer illiteracy of the teachers. So we have to deal with that, especially in the rural schools. There was nothing. There was chairs and, and tables and that was. But now suddenly bring all this new technology, and it was not. Uh, it, it didn't take four or five years. It was suddenly. It was in, in, in question. It was a month. Everything was in. So we had to deal with the, uh, really. It's the eagerness of the children because everyone wants to work and everyone wants to see how it works. Ermelo has a lot of mines surrounding it. So a lot of mining companies assist with funds to run this project. Teachers need to be trained daily to bring them up to speed with this technology and that is costly. Some sponsors prefer to stick to one school since the beneficiaries of e-learning are schools in rural areas. Being able to bring this initiative to South Africa and actually starting it is an achievement on its own, but the most obvious one is the improvement in results. Well, I know that the, uh, for the schools that we uh, connect with, there was a very big improvement in their results. The e-learning has achieved um, better results for a lot of learners. They can go to universities next year, they can go and study further, they can apply for the job. I don't want to say it's due to e-learning, I want to say it's due to this child um, being encouraged to study harder because e-learning has given her the opportunity um, to understand, to have insight, you know. So I think that e-learning has been there for, to motivate the child um, to, to work harder. This initiative has broadened the learners' minds, especially in the rural areas. They are exposed to other methods of learning, which in turn will motivate them to study further and bring back the knowledge to their community. I think it's very good to see that there are many people who are in the same way. En is te makkelijk om te zeggen ja, jullie leerders doen niet goed niet, want dit is nou maar zo. En ik denk, betekent dit, dit is voor al zwart kinders wat rechten goed doen. Ik heb kinders wat boe negentig heet. Community wise, uh, it's in the long in the, in the, in the, in the long term uh, where the child will uh, benefit, his marks will improve, he'll go back to university or he'll go up to university, become something and then he will come back to the community. And he, at this uh, point in time, I think the community is not really benefiting so much uh, in terms of e-learning itself. E-learning is giving back to the community in a way because they are becoming technologically advanced. And these are the very learners who are going to become parents for tomorrow in the community. Meaning the moment we are going to use a computer from this side, we are going to liaise up with some people from other schools, but gain a self-confidence. But tomorrow it's easier to, 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 to go around the world through a computer system. And we are going a number of things in our assessment. That's what we are going to do the machine. <laughs> Currently, this amazing technology is only experienced by the grade 12 learners and it is the school's wish for other learners to experience the change that is occurring.
It would be wonderful if it could maybe not only be our grade 12 class having e-learning, uh, but maybe start from FET phase where it starts in grade 10. And then that's the foundation where they start with the subject, mathematical literacy, it's a new subject, and then take them right through to grade 12, because then you start with the basics, and you make sure the basics is covered in grade 10, grade 11, you go on with them in grade 12, you finish up their final year. Well, it's our dream here at Lichtbrom that we can set up um, a lot of uh, hubs in the whole of South Africa. Uh, it's a project that's very intensive, so there need to be project teams in place. But we would like it to, um, and because we started here in Gertse Bande, and we're already busy with uh, the same project in, in Middelburg. We start uh, um, the same project with primary schools now in Bethel. And uh, so we would like to, to see this project go to, to all the provinces. This is going to take time, but the way we're building this e-learning project to make it sustainable makes me self so, uh, feeling so positive about the future because I know we're going to get to you guys, we're going to help you and you must never ever leave the dream. Don't ever forget about your dream. There's people uh, in this pilot project involved, uh, pupils, that went to university for the first time, we find that some of our schools really send people to the university and they're really advancing there. And that's waiting for you guys. You know, I'd like to appreciate what Lechbrun has done to our school. And particularly Mr. Franz Kalb, who is a project manager, who is very helpful. He's always with us. They support us fully. You know, they also share knowledge with us. I highly appreciate that. All the sponsors were very much grateful to as a school. We also like to say to Lechbron, especially the principal and Mr. Kalp, for having confidence in us with Lendol and Asizo Ipata with both hands. And to the teachers who are transmitting le lessons to us, we're saying we are very happy and grateful to have them in our midst. Bafisela Uguti Banga, Tola Ezinya Inke, Labafundi Sanga Zinye, Nezinye, Ifundo, Bakunga, Bimetsi, or Tua, Sizo Wazu, Improve and Aguzinye, Easy Fundo, Mabana Zuzibalu, Legi, Lingyabo. Natando Bonga Kulu Bonga and Abasnotil and Ilending Moba, Ama Maxwell to say Ah, a Kupugil, Agafanjing at Tal, near Tema Gutiglonyagalon, Ama Maxwell to Etafa Azo Kupuga, Sizo Kupula, thirty six per cent, and Kabanga so figure seventy per cent, two hundred per cent. They must work very hard, seven days a week. They can improve their maths marks. Everyone can pass maths, the, the maths. They must, they must just work, work, work as much as possible. I'm going to ask you if maybe let's only do two. Otherwise, you're going to take a lot of time. But if you can write the two answers for me down there. So she's picking up a pen on that side. And she's going to write down her answers. Only that two. So what's that? This was what they're doing between the two schools. So if you can see what the answers are there. Yes, and it's right again. Thank you very much. Got two left. If you can write us the answer down of this calculation, tell us if you can write it in a different way, how will you do it? Can you do it for us, please? I 
ask her to write big so that everyone can see. Right, okay, what I can do, she can do it as well, again, but uh, the software is very nice. So the teacher, while he's teaching, she can, can go directly and she can go and see what on, we can, you can explain to the, to, to the learners in a more visual way how to do the calculation. Right, we're going to the last one. Can you write down the answer for us there, please? So it's always better for the learners if I, we are always, the teachers are always talking and talking and talking about that. But if we can demonstrate it for them, then it's easier for the children to remember that. Right, and let's just go to see. And the same is happening by Thank you. 